What's up, guys? George Thinney Eritano here, and uh, I'm here to talk about some memes. So I think everyone in the meme community pretty much knows what Ram Ranch is. Ram Ranch is obviously the song created by Grant McDonald, chronicling the epic tale of the 18 cowboys who get naked and suck each other's c at Ram Ranch. 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Big heart throbbing cocks wanted to be sucked. 18 naked cowboys wanted to be fucked. Cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch on their knees wanted to suck cowboy cocks. Ram Ranch really rocks. The song is, you know, it, it's funny. You know, it, it's a good song to prank people with. But on an objective level, it's terrible. The song is terrible. It's just not even a pleasant song to listen to. It's not catchy. It's not doesn't have a particularly good beat or anything to it. It's just bad. It's a terrible song. And uh, Ram Ranch, the Ram Ranch memes, I feel as if have become the the room of uh, memes. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, Yogi. And, uh, let me explain what I mean by that. When a meme gets popular, you know, obviously people start recreating it. People start spreading it around, you know. Like, uh, you know, the Dat Boy meme or something like that. <laughs> Or those, like, Savage Patrick memes, you know, other kinds of memes like that, all the Thanos memes, you know, all of those memes, the Shaggy memes, they just become internet trends, more or less. You know, like, the memes that get copied and pasted everywhere on uh, the internet. It's kind of like how in the film industry, when a trend comes up, Hollywood is always trying to copy it. You know, 1970s, it was war movies. You know, back in the 50s and 40s, it was those film noir type gritty crime films. Today, it's superhero movies. In the 90s, it was mob movies. And, you know, this, I think the same thing is kind of with memes now. All these meme accounts are just reposting Basically the same meme. But what makes Ram Ranch special is that Grant McDonald has produced 149 Ram Ranch songs. Yo, what do I see? Huge spaceship pulling up to the cock ship? Yo, Poseidon Don XXX? 200 water polo boys from under the sea? Yo, Huge hair cocks, hair the sparks. Good fucking 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 fuck. Fucking fucking fuck. Mom boys. Let me repeat that. 149, or at the very least, his latest one is called Ram Ranch 149. But he's made so many of these over however long the actual Ram Ranch, original Ram Ranch song was created. It's insane. And I compare uh, Grant McDonald you know, to Tommy Wiseau and, you know, Ram Ranch to The Room. Because when Tommy Wiseau, or Wiseau, however you say his name, noticed that people were enjoying The Room because it was so bad that it was just funny, he started capitalizing on that. He, he took that and, and milked it dry. And now we've got these best friend movies. Where he just makes terrible movies intentionally so that people can laugh at them. And it's kind of annoying. And I think that's what Grant McDonald did. Grant McDonald, he made the Ram Ranch song. And then when, then when people started sharing it around, he just made so many other terrible songs. All about Ram Ranch, keep in mind. To kind of capitalize on it and just milk it dry. And I would argue that he's already milked it dry and he's just going to keep going. He, he, he wants to produce more of these. It's insane. How many of these he's produced now? I guess I could also maybe compare him to Michael Bay and all those Transformer movies, because that's all he's been doing. Or maybe, I don't know, in a few years, it'll, it could also apply to James Cameron's Avatar. As a song, Ram Ranch is terrible. It's not good. It's just the worst thing ever. But 
it, it's funny to prank people with, you know? It, it's not a, you know, never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. Where, yeah, it was funny to actually, uh, to Rickroll people, but the song is unironically a good song. It's actually really catchy. It's got some great lyrics. Rick Astley has an amazing voice. And, uh, well, uh, Ram Ranch, uh, where do I begin? The melody is terrible. It's just a repeated melody. The lyrics are the same. There's only a few verses. The song literally repeats itself halfway through. Grant McDonald cannot sing. And also, wh wh what does this... It doesn't make any sense. Like, what? It, all it is is 18 naked cowboys at Ram Ranch, and they're all gay. Okay, what, what's the point of that? Is there a real Ram Ranch... In, in the world, is there actually a place in the world called Ram Ranch? If there is, are the are there 18 cowboys there? Are they all gay? Do they all have, you know, massive orgies like in that of Brave New World? Oh, shit. Those heavy metal guitars? 18 naked cowboys in the shower what? at Ram Ranch. Big head driving cocks wanting to be sucked. Naked cowboys wanted to be fucked. <laughs> How is this six fucking minutes? What, what am I even doing? We're talking about Ram Ranch. It's Ram Ranch. Okay, Ram Ranch is a terrible song. It, I don't know, it's funny. It doesn't excuse it from criticism. You know, it doesn't exonerate the song just because it's bad. Same with The, the Room. If the exoneration clause applies to this, then... Why doesn't it apply to something like The Room or any of Neil Breen's films or, I don't know, Birdemic or anything that Chris Stuckman has covered on his Hilariosity series? I mean, there's people who enjoy the meme and, you know, if you do, cool. For the novelty of it, it's funny to prank people with, but it's not, it's not a good song. Well, uh, I guess that's it for, uh, our boy Grant McDonald. Grant, um, my message to you is, uh, I, uh, hope you, um, meet Tommy Wiseau one day. Not just because you guys would get really good friends, but maybe, uh, Tommy Wiseau might become the, uh, 19th member of Ram Ranch.